Happy Halloween everyone! Hope you're well! My name is Inej, I'm an artist and illustrator and in today's video, since we are in Halloween, I thought I would just create a Halloween themed illustration slash painting. So I started by sketching some ideas, I was a bit stuck, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I ended up doing some sketches of witches, uh, I have it here on my sketchbook actually, and I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's a quite an interesting type of composition and I'm just going to try to uh, make a painting out of it. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Today I decided to do quite a free type of process so I don't have anything sorted yet. I have tons of different materials here. I have acrylic washes and watercolors and I have colored pencils and India ink brush pens from Pentel, I have my Micron Pigment pens, I have my Copics, I have my watercolor markers and I have my, my graphite black wing pencils, so I have tons of different types of materials and I, because I want really to explore while I'm doing it what I feel like is going to work with this illustration. So if you are up to a uh, Halloween exploration painting and if you are curious to see how my ideas come together even when they are not exactly plan planned out, please keep watching the video. I start by sketching the idea I had in my notebook. I chose the Strathmore toned grey mixed media paper as my base because I can add lighter and darker hues to it. It's a great option to create expressive drawings that have more volume. I use my graphite pencil to do the sketching. It's just easy and convenient. Then I start inking the drawing using my brush sign pen by Pentel. I really like this pen because you can do quite expressive lines that you can easily control. However, it's not waterproof, which I should have thought before starting this illustration. I think really it's a bit of a downside if you are thinking about adding water later on. But overall I really really like this pen. I start adding shadows with my Copic markers, which work quite well with this paper, to create volume. I go back and forth with the lining and shading. I add darker hues to the places that are not lit and continue creating the illusion of volume. I continue lining the drawing and adding details. It's super fun to do and you can start bringing the character to life. With adding shadows and highlights, you have to make sure you create a good and distinguished sense of values. So the character gets a 3D appearance and it's clear in its form. I add highlights to the drawing using the color pencils from Carandash and also the white acrylic gouache from Liquitex. I love adding the highlights, I think it makes such a big difference in the painting. By this point, I started to think I should just start experimenting and adding other materials and techniques. It's so freeing to just experiment and not focus too much in the end result. Focus on the project without having it determined can be very good to loosen your creativity. And I really, really go by this 
because uh, doing this whole process uh, not thinking about what I really wanted to look like it really makes the work sometimes be even more creative than if you had it all planned out I think it really obviously depends sometimes you have a specific goal in mind and you, it really works best in that way but I think sometimes in order to loosen your creativity be more creative you need to just let it work without making it so restrictive and follow so many rules and that's what I try to do with this painting by this point I started thinking that the painting was too monochromatic so I decided to add a pop of color to the pumpkin it's Halloween so I think it makes sense I was quite surprised how the acrylics pop so much in this paper the colors are really good and opaque and I really love the vibe that I was getting from adding color to the painting. Then I thought that by painting the pumpkin, the rest of the painting was starting to feel very sad. So I decided to add watercolors to the character. Possibly I shouldn't have added it on top of the Copic painting, uh, however, it really worked in the end. I feel I made some sacrilegious art choices during this painting, but if there's any occasion that rules don't apply and you can create terror with art techniques, it's Halloween. So I think this whole chaotic process is quite on brand. I add the last details, shadows, highlights to finalize the painting and making it pop even more. And I think overall the illustration really works. It was truly a pleasure to do. I really, really enjoyed the whole process. I was very calm, very relaxed doing it, and it was like amazing to do. I think truly the end result really works and I really like how the illustration done with no specific process can still work. And I really loved how it looks in the end. So that was chaotic. I was expecting this because I didn't have a, a very specific process uh, in mind. It was an exercise of exploration. So uh, I think in that sense, I was successful. I'm quite happy with the end result. Definitely, I went back and forth with different materials. In the beginning, I was only thinking about using ink, but then I started to think about I have it here actually. I, st I started wanting to add some color to it and I did to the pumpkin, but then anything, everything else started to feel like it needed a bit of color as well. And I think in the end result is quite nice. I really like this type of character. I think it's quite on theme, obviously with Halloween. And I think I am quite happy with it. I am not mad at all. And I was not expecting it to be like this. So I think sometimes it's very, interesting to just explore ideas when you obviously don't have a specific goal in mind and you have like this is just for me it's not for a client so i can just explore wherever i want and i thought since halloween is like when chaos is on earth why not being chaotic with your process as well it is super fun though uh it's really like liberating sometimes to just do things without thinking too much what you are doing and give yourself a bit of opportunity to just explore it, be more artistic. It ended up well in the end, so I'm quite happy. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to uh, just avoid vampires, witches, and maybe zombies this, this night. And make sure to have fun, have a lovely Halloween, and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!